Welcome back to On The Rise with the latest Canaman team news and today we're talking about Marco Bustos' European interest and transfer rumours as he is attracting multiple sides interest within Sweden, Poland and even the Eredivisie and of course right now very much the frontrunners are coming out of Sweden and IFK Varnamos who are approaching a final decision and could possibly have this as a done deal within the holiday season as we are expecting a final decision around the holiday times and this is a very interesting and a great move for the 26 year old Canadian right winger and attacking midfielder and most notably the best player to ever come out of Pacific FC but he's also attracting interest within Poland and even the Eredivisie as there's also one other club within the Swedish first division interested in Marco Bustos but right now they're outsiders and definitely IFK Von Amos are leading this race and this is all coming from Manuel Veth as a source and is also being reported from a Swedish source in Anel Avdish. This is amazing news from Marco Bustos and could possibly push him into Canaman contention and we're going to be taking a deeper dive into Marco Bustos' stats, what he could do for IFK Von Amos and if he would be starting for them and how this could possibly could have put him into Canaman Teep contention because I think very much it could give him a real shot if he gets a move like this. But guys before we do make sure to drop down below hit that sub button drop a like and let me know what you guys think of this transfer for Bustos down below in the comments and we're going to jump straight into things as there's a couple reports from Marco uh, from Manuel Veth that I very much want to break down and read for you guys and then we're going to jump into some stats from Bustos at his time in the Camp PL and definitely look at what a move to IFK Von Amos could do for his career and it can be uh, Kahneman T contention move for him as well. But Manuel Veth had a couple tweets a couple of days ago saying that source confirms a report by Anel Avdic that IFK Von Amos are in the running for Marco Bustos, but it isn't final yet. One other side within the Swedish first division is still in the running for Kahneman T player and former Pacific star, like I said, the greatest player for me to come out of the Pacific FC side in their short time in the Camp PL and possibly one of the best players ever come from the Camp PL so far and that he does go and say that he expects a final decision over the holidays but Manuel Veth also reported that there is also still an Eredivisie side in the running for Bustos plus one side from Poland but they are both heavy outsiders right now but again nothing final yet but this is definitely looking like concrete solid evidence that this is going to happen very soon like you said expect something over the holidays we'll have a done deal video when that comes out but this is huge because Manuel Veth is very, very, very a great source. Coming from transfer market, he usually gets almost everything correct. And Marco Bustos going to a side like IFK Varnamos would be absolutely amazing. If you look at Varnamos' squad right now, guys, they currently only have one attacking midfielder on the roster. And they have two right wingers and they do play a 4-3-3 of sorts with whether that's using an attacking midfielder or a right winger or a defensive holding midfielder. Or just a solid three. Marco Bustos could very much fit into this side. He would be immediately their best right winger. As of course they have three younger Swedish right wingers in the side. Who are only valued at 50k and 175k. As Marco Bustos is valued at 400,000 within transfer market. An attacking midfielder. He could jump straight in as there is only one attacking midfielder in their squad. And this would be huge. This is a side in IFK Von Amos. Who finished 10th last season in the Swedish 1st Division. And that is still pretty good. The Swedish first division is very good at producing talent and moving them on to bigger and better clubs and better sides. And this would be a huge move for Marco Bustos. Even just getting that move out of the Can PL, getting to shine in Europe, I think this could be huge for his push into the Canaman T. Yes, there is still this chance that he could end up in Poland or even the Eredivisie. Eredivisie for me, 100% chance he gets in the Canaman T contention. It is very interesting to see that there's one team within. Uh, talks to sign Marco Bustos as of course it could be any of these and for me no matter where he goes in the Eredivisie it is a great fit and a great league for him to end up in whether it's the Swedish or the Eredivisie I think it gives him a true shot at the Canaman T he's a great player with a lot of exciting attributes about him if you look at his time in the Can PL he produced loads of goals and loads of excitement in his time for Pacific since February 2020 he had 63 appearances having 15 goals and for Valor 27 appearances with 8 goals if you want to break it down this past season having 28 matches 2200 minutes for 2 goals and 6 assists that's 8 goal contributions in 20 
20 matches. That is not too shabby for Marco Bustos. But for a couple years before that, he still was brilliant. You look at that year with Pacific in 2021, where he did have 7 goals and 6 assists. And before that, 5 goals, 3 assists. And with Valor in 2019... He had seven and three assists. Marco Bustos has been phenomenal when he, he has been in the Camp PL. And I think a move to Sweden is going to be absolutely amazing for him. I think it'll be a brilliant move for him. Whether that can push him into the Camp PL or account him in key contention, that is a huge question that I'm going to break down right now. But I might also do a separate video on that as well. I think this is a huge move for him to get into the Canon T. You look at the Canaman team right now, more than likely I do love Herdman's setup but I think we could very much switch to a 4-3-3 and that's what I think Herdman might go with in the new coming year and for our push into 2026, of course the gold cup and everything with that. I think we need a Cam, an attacking midfielder in the squad. Do we truly have that? Yes, Hoylick can play there but definitely isn't where he is most suited at. Yes, Azorio can play that but that's definitely not his best position. Marco Bustos, if he gets a chance to shine for Aki Varnamos, if he gets a put chance to sign in the Eredivisie and if he's killing it I think he could definitely get a call up he's still only 26 he still is in his prime in his pomp he could play 26 27 28 29 he could still be in his prime shining Marco Bustos could be that true link it kind of needs in the midfield to get more chances yes we create a lot of chances but we could use a player behind the Jonathan David in a 4-3-3 or someone linking up to play we've needed that in three in the back system when we need that attacking midfielder Canada truly doesn't have that. I think Marco Bustos could be that man. I think this is a brilliant move for Marco Bustos. I think IFK Von Amos would be a great place for him to go to. It's very interesting. I'd love to see what Pacific FC fans have to say about this. Even Valor FC fans. This is a great move. And I'd love to see if this does come to fruition. Like I said, guys, we're going to have a done deal video around this when it does happen. Expect this to be over the holiday season. And let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Hit that like. Drop a sub. And I'll see you guys for the next one. Peace.